Evergreen Solar is a manufacturer of solar panels whose technology grew out of the engineering lab of Manuel Sachs right here at MIT. Evergreen's headquarters is in Marlboro, about 30 miles from here. But its main manufacturing operation had been in Germany for a long time. And Germany, as you may know, has strong pro-solar policies in the sense. In late 2006, Evergreen was looking to build its first full-scale manufacturing facility in the United States, and it wasn't even considering Massachusetts. Mind you, its headquarters are based here, but it wasn't thinking about Massachusetts. Before I took office, between the time I was elected and inaugurated, we got involved with corporate leadership at Evergreen Solar and persuaded them to give us a chance to compete for that first manufacturing facility in the United States. We were able to come through with a package of incentives, incentives that was competitive with, uh, with several other states. Not the cheapest, but competitive. Evergreen chose Massachusetts as the base of its U.S. manufacturing operations. And by next year, Evergreen will triple its Massachusetts employment, up to 1,000 workers in just two years. Now, what made the difference for Evergreen was the commitment we were able to make to grow the market for solar photovoltaic energy. We have pledged to increase installed solar power in Massachusetts from 4 megawatts last year to 250 megawatts in 10 years. And my administration brokered a commitment from the state's electricity, electric utilities to help promote solar power, identifying customers with good roofs and facilitating the process of interconnection, the first alliance of solar panel manufacturers and utilities in the whole country. Solar power is popular among the public, but it is expensive. The upfront cost of buying and installing solar power is high, and the payback period can be long. So in January, my administration launched a program called Solar, uh, Commonwealth Solar, a rebate program that defrays the cost of going solar with rebates of up to 60% of the cost for homeowners and up to 40% for businesses. This slashes the payback period for the investment after which the solar panels generate electricity virtually for free. In just three months of operation, Commonwealth Solar has approved nearly 60 applications for rebates totaling more than a million dollars and installations of 350 kilowatts in generating events. Backed by $68 million in existing ratepayer renewable energy funds for the first four years, Commonwealth Solar is expected to put us on a path to achieving our 250 megawatts solar goal. Thanks to places like MIT with its energy initiative, Massachusetts is becoming a center of solar technology innovation. Just over a week ago, I think it was, the German-based Fraunhofer Institutes declared MIT to be its U.S. home for clean energy research, establishing an MIT Fraunhofer Center for Sustainable Energy Systems with backing from the Commonwealth's Renewable Energy Trust and Electric and Gas Utility National Grid. The MIT Fraunhofer Center will bring 70 new scientists, engineers, and technologists to bear on the challenges of clean energy technology with spin-offs in Massachusetts and all around the world. One of the center's first goals is slashing the cost of producing solar panels by roughly one-third, a critical step toward making solar power competitive in the marketplace without subsidies. And just today, I think you know this, the Chisonas Family Foundation bestowed upon MIT $10 million to fund a solar revolution project to explore new materials and systems for produce, producing solar power with the goal of hastening the migration of solar energy from the fringe to the mainstream. This is the right vision for solar. Of all the renewable energy technologies, it has the unique potential to penetrate deeply into every home and business, perhaps one day integrated into roofing tiles themselves. 